Let's try our hand at this one, remembering the steps that we just talked about. The first step, of course, is to do what? Get the radical. Get rid of the radical sign. Well, not get rid of the radical sign. We have to isolate the radical, which means we've got to get it by itself. How do I get this radical by itself? I've got to move the 8 to the other side. So when I do that, I still have the fifth root because I haven't done anything to the radical. All I've done is I've used the addition property of equality to move the 8 to the other side <coughs> by subtracting it on both sides. I get negative 5. Now comes time for me to use the power property. I've got a fifth root. What power will cancel out the fifth root? The fifth power. So I'm going to raise both the left and the right side of this, of this equation to the power of 5. So what does that give me on the left? 2x minus 91. 2x minus 91. 2x minus 91 equals, man, I wish I had that power sheet. Negative what? This is not 5 to the third. This is 5 to the fifth power, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. Definitely say 20 plans. Negative 3,125. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear me say 3 before I said 125. I did. I totally did. Thank you. Oh, you did? Yeah, that's all that got my back. So now we just solve this like normally plus ninety one. Well, look, do we solve this normally? The answer is yes. This is a normal equ normal equation yeah. for us. Is this guy quadratic or linear? Linear. It's linear, and if it's linear, we just get x by itself, right? Mm -hmm. How do I do that? Add the you know, add the ninety one to both sides. I'm actually going to show that just. Oh, these numbers are so large, it's hard to do mental math anymore. So 2x equals what? 3,000 what? 3,034. Negative, right? Do I agree with negative 3,034? And then when you get x by itself, what do you get? Negative 1,517. Yes? Yes. Oh, no, you need to check. Um. Yeah, I probably should check this. Sounds like a good idea. Oh. What box again? <laughs> Just calm yourself down. I do that all the time. So when I check this, I need to see, is the fifth root of 2 times my number that I got here, minus 91, plus 8, does that equal 3? That's, that's what I'm checking. That's a lot of stuff to check. And inside here, I'm putting in my <coughs> negative 1,517. So really just work this out. I get the fifth root of negative 3,034 minus 91 plus 8 equals the fifth root. Really, you're just working this whole thing backwards, right? 3,125. What's the fifth root of negative 3,125? I know what it better be, right? Does that equal negative 5? And isn't negative 5 plus 8 equal to 3? Yes. Yes. So everything checks out in this problem. I like this. This is fun. If you think this is fun, oh, just I'm wait down. till the next problem. And for those of you playing along at home, We'll go ahead and box this for you so you don't get upset and start leaving nasty comments like, but he didn't box his answer, so how do I know if it's right or not? What? No, I didn't.
<laughs> yes, remember, whatever you put on the internet, everybody sees. Oh, yes, of course. You're already poo-pooing on this. I can't even write this down before we start grumbling about it. No, it's not bad. It's, it's you don't like the color that I'm using? Yes. No, it wasn't bad. This one's going to be quadratic. What was the question about, what was the question about the last one? I, I don't know why I'm subtracting and I'm not getting that. Subtracting what? That's a negative 3,125. You add 91. And the difference between these numbers is negative 3,034. I don't know why I'm not getting there. I don't know. Because aren't you... What's 125 minus 91? 34. So negative 3,034. Yeah, we're sub subtracting, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. When we subtract, keep the sign of the larger number. Right. Look at this next problem. What would you say? Would we go ahead and square it? Why? Well, because there's nothing that's not on. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, Do I have the good. radical by itself? Yes. Yes, I have the radical by itself. Now I have to ra have to use the power property and raise both sides to the appropriate power. Square. Second power. Now make sure you understand this. I said raise each side, right? That means I'm taking the entire side here on the left, and I'm going to square that. The entire side on the right, and I square that. Be careful. I'm going to put this little note here. Because on the left side, I have a binomial that's being squared. So we have to remember the formula that we talked about in 0308, maybe even in this semester. When you square a binomial, it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If you just square the x and square the 4 and you move on, you'll never move on. When I square the a, what do you get? When I square the b, what do you get? I get 16. The middle piece is 2AB. That means multiply these A and B to get the A and B together, 4X. You double that and you get what? 8X. And I know what you're thinking. Can't I just write X plus 4 times X plus 4 and foil it? The answer is yes. Well, I do that. The answer is no, because I learned this stuff when I was supposed to have learned it. That means maybe you go back and you practice these guys. So that's on the left side. What's on the right side? X plus 6. Have x plus 6. <coughs> now look at the equation that I have here that doesn't have any radicals. What will I do here? What kind of equation is it? Make it equal to 0. Why do I make it equal to 0 in this case? It's quadratic. It's quadratic. I use the zero factor theorem. We had to deal with that on the l in the last chapter with rational equations. We would clear fractions, and then we had to determine, is it quadratic or is it linear? Because I do it two different ways. If it's linear, I get x by itself, or I get variables on one side, constants on the other. When it's quadratic, I use the zero factor theorem. So move these guys over. <coughs> and what is that going to give me over here? x squared minus, or plus 7x plus 10. x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. Now that it equals 0, what will I do? Factor. Factor it. So 0 factor theorem says equal to 0. The next word is factor. How does this factor? x plus 2 times x plus 5, x plus two x plus five equals 0. That means x equals what? negative 2 or x equals negative 5. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. So just box them all, right? Just box it. 
I love boxing. It's fun. So Put them up. Check your work. Isn't it negative two? Negative, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Negative two. Oh, now you now you want to correct me, huh? Yeah, you're you do it. Well, do the ne do the signs even matter? Yes, I know some of you keep a record of my wrongs. Yeah. You, you know what? Love, you know what? Love doesn't do that. Just so you know. <laughs> when I check my work, when I check, first of all, let's check what happens when x equals negative two. If I plug in negative two plus four, does that equal negative two plus six? Are these the same? Does 2 equal the square root of 4? Yes. That is correct. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to box that guy. I know. Oh, and goodness, can you believe it? Yes. Well, let's check, let's check and see what happens when x equals negative 5. So, don't don't talk about the size of his head. Oh, he's so far ahead. That's what. Oh, if I plug these numbers in, what's negative five plus one? Negative one. Negative one. Does that equal the square root of one? No. Well, let's back up. Let's back up. If I just say, what is the square root of 1? The answer is 1, right? Yes. But if I ask you, what are the square roots of 1? What numbers squared give you 1? Negative 1. Negative 1 or positive 1, right? But remember, what does this radical symbol mean here? Positive. Not just the square root, but the positive or the principal square root, right? Mm -hmm. So when it's asking for the positive square root of 1, it's supposed to be positive 1. So these guys, it doesn't work out, does it? So then what do you think you're going to say for negative 5? You're just going to box it anyway? Extreme. You're going to call this guy, call him what he is, right? Like I know you guys talk about me behind my back. You probably say, man, that guy is so extraneous. Yes, <laughs> then your friends must think you're cool. This is an extraneous solution, so am I going to box that? Who? No. 